Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here. Welcome to the report for Thursday, June 20th, 2019, DocSports.com. We got a free pick coming up in just a moment. Also, a return to our NFL thumbnail sketches. We kick off the NFC West with the Arizona Cardinals over under projection on this report. We'll get to all that in just a second. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way just to give it a trial run. You click on the link below this video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Again, all you got to do, click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. I think that you'll be glad that you did. Here's what I got going on for Thursday. In fact, right through the weekend when you count the CFL in the mix, first of all, Thursday, I've got a seven-unit main event in Major League Baseball. We don't have a lot of these throughout the course of the season, uh, but over the last 11 days, our elite-level baseball plays have been hot. That's those that rate five stars and higher. Uh, those plays have hit 80% winning tickets and if we win this one tonight as we expect to with the seven star play we'll be up over $2,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit so go grab that on Thursday 11:30 a.m. Eastern 8:30 a.m. Pacific is when that game will be posted at DocSports.com it is Thursday and of course that means CFL uh, we're gonna have one play for sure and it's a seven unit play first one of the season it goes in a couple of days but grab that play on Thursday afternoon we post them 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, all our football plays for the entire weekend on Thursday. You can go get it at 6 p.m. Eastern, and you'll want to do so. A big seven-unit play in week two in the CFL. We won our first play last week, 1-0 so far, uh, through the first week of the season in the CFL, and going back over a decade now, 106 and 74. We're nearing 60% against the spread over the past decade in the Canadian Football League. So it's a lot of good stuff to go check out on Thursday at Doc Sports com, especially Thursday's uh, seven-unit main event in baseball. All right, last night, premium pick, we won with the Angels. That price went nuts throughout the course of the day, and fortunately, the Angels' bats went nuts again also, uh, winning that game to 11-6. to Mike Trout with a huge game, couple of homers, including a grand slam, and they go on to get the five-run win. Uh, also wanted to mention uh, that we uh, dropped our WNBA pick last night. We lost a total in the WNBA. It went over late. We had the under and uh, unfortunately lost that game, but we will have WNBA posted on Thursday over at DocSports.com. All right, free pick in just a second. As I mentioned, we're going to start our NFC West uh, thumbnail sketches on today's report. We're going to start with the Arizona Cardinals. Over under wins total is five. Gone is Josh Rosen. Gone is that ridiculously primitive offense that they ran last year. When you look at some of the passing numbers that Arizona had last year, you just sit there and you're kind of like shaking your head wondering how it's possible in modern day NFL football for a, an offense to post as few passing yardage and as few points as they did throughout the course of a season. I mean, let's Listen, they were held to less than 15 points on nine occasions last year. So here comes a new offense. Here comes a new mindset. Here comes a new quarterback in Kyler Murray. And it's being turned over him, the reins of quarterback. And he better stay healthy because after that, uh, the Cardinals aren't blessed with great quarterback talent. So it's up to Kyler Murray. Listen, he's got decent people around him, decent talent, wide receiver. They can run the football. I think they're going to be good on offense. And I think what you're going to see out of the offensive play calling is an opportunity for Kyler Murray in the offense to put up points and to put up decent numbers just about anything's going to be better than what they did last year. As far as the defensive side of the football, Vince Joseph won't have Patrick Peterson for about half a season, but they did, the Arizona Cardinals, go out and make some real nice additions and acquisitions on the stop unit, on the defensive side of the football in the offseason. So, and by the way, this was a defense that was one of the top five in quarterback sacks last year. They were one of the tops in the NFL in tackles for losses. I, I really think that this defense is going to be a good one in the NFC West for the Arizona Cardinals with the acquisitions that were made. They'll get better when Peterson comes back. There's no doubt about that, but I do like some of the players they added uh, to the stop unit. As far as the schedule is concerned, it's not overwhelming start to finish. There are a couple of bumps in the road that I'm going to mention. Listen, if they can beat Detroit at home, virtually a pick em game to start the season, they could also win at Baltimore. You know what I feel about Baltimore. If you watched our video on the Ravens, we're not high on them. And then they host Carolina after that. I truly expect the Cardinals to be 2-1 and one after their first three games. Not a bad start. Here's where it gets iffy because, listen, I want to play over five, but it's awfully scary. Let me tell you why. The final five games of the season for the Cardinals are home against the Rams, 
home against the Steelers, home against the Browns, good news, all home games, bad news, all teams that are going to be playoff bound in all likelihood, and then at Seattle and at the Rams. Are you kidding me? That is a five-game stretch to end the season that could turn out to be their won't, W-O-N-T, as Howard Cosell once said. That last five-game stretch is going to be what probably keeps me off of betting the over with the Arizona Cardinals with the young quarterback at the helm. But I will give you this advice. We may not have an over-under play here, but the best advice is don't play under five. I think the Cardinals have enough talent and enough coaching and decent players on defense with the additions made that they can challenge that over. Again, it's the final five games that keep me off it. So best advice on the Arizona Cardinals for 2019 is to not bet the under. And we might add this team to our list of bets over as we get into August. And as I mentioned before, if we do add the Cardinals to the bets we've already told you we're making, we will certainly that very same day do a video and tell you that we are adding the Cardinals to the card and we'll tell you the reasons why. So be sure to watch these videos each and every day. All right, our next NFL thumbnail sketch, staying in the NFC West, will be the LA Rams, and we'll have that for you on Friday's video. Again, before we get to the free pick, real quick note, seven-unit main event in Major League Baseball. We'd like to continue to stay red hot with our uh, elite-level baseball plays over at DocSports.com. It'll be available 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. CFL available 6 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. Let's talk a little baseball free pick. It's the Angels laying about $1.50 over the Jays. We're going to back them again. Jose Suarez over uh, uh, Clayton Richard. Listen, six straight wins now for the Halos uh, over the Toronto Blue Jays last 24 times at Rogers Center. The Halos have won 18 of those games. Listen, this offense for the Angels is on fire right now. And it started, you can see it started in May, even before they got healthy. Now that they're healthy, they're gonna be a tough tough nut to crack when they're at the plate. And Clayton Richard has been an absolute disaster, uh, especially his last couple of starts. And if you go back to last year, his final two starts before the Padres, before coming along and now pitching for Toronto, his ERA was almost nine, his whip was almost two, going back to his final two starts of last year, plus what he's done so far this season. I do not see Clayton Richard being able to throw a wrench in the offense of the LA Angels in this game. I really don't. The Angels are hitting too well right now. They're scoring well. They can give a starter a rest at this point and still put up five, six runs per game. As far as Suarez is concerned, listen, a couple of the road starts thus far. He's at three overall, but two on the road, and he pitched well. He's got a buck 24 whip in those two road starts, and he helped his team to two wins in those games. I expect him to do well in this one. I expect the Angels to get the victory and get that big sweep over Toronto and continue their dominance over the Jays, both overall, but especially at Rogers Center. So our free pick for Thursday is the Angels Suarez over Richard. All right, listen, that's going to do it for us for Thursday. If you do like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritz of DocSports.com. You know the drill. Let's put Thursday in the win column, and I'll be right back here Friday morning, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific, at the very latest. We'll talk to you then.